Newswag.com. Newswag.com. Yay! Hi, folks. Now, right, I think I've explained. I, I think the the support for strikes is next to nothing in this country. I know the trade unions think they're, they're gaining support, but <laughs> they must be very thick people if they don't understand that. The strikes in the 1970s meant Labour was out for years um, and basically everyone voted Conservative. They just didn't want the strikes. Now, obviously, one of the things I've always been anti-unions over is the thuggish behaviour, the way that they, um, they force people everybody to comply and if you don't comply they have a go at you and you know you end up with them um, the, the you find people smash up people's houses who decide to go to work because they don't support a strike now you think that was over in the 70s but there's an interview online with julia hartley brewer where an ex-union boss calls her a scab not only does he call it a scab is the delight in his face, his face changes to this cruel, I mean, these aren't nice people, you know, socialism isn't about nice people, is it, folks, these are nasty, horrible people, and this guy proves it, he shows what, what we can expect from people who, I mean, this is why I always say to people, who, who kept banging on about socialism as if they're the good people, you're on the wrong side, you know, Every time these people expose themselves over and over and over and over. I mean, I'm not conservative or Labour or anything, you know, but I'm certainly never going to be socialist when people are like this. I mean, it puts straight off because I don't want to be on the nasty side. It's, aren't you humiliated when you have people like this? I'll put a link in the video, in the in this thing, to the to the link to the video. And you can see the delight, disgusting human being. I mean, he's a horrible man. Really disgusting. Because that's, you know, I mean, gosh. I mean, you see, I mean, then again, I mean, to be fair, most union leaders in the England don't tend to be very bright. They tend to be, in other countries, you have to have a, a minimum of a master's degree so you can sit on the board and discuss business in England. You know, it's basically... From my what I, what I've seen from union leaders, they tend to not be very bright people. Have got a chip on the shoulder. They're just angry people, usually not very attractive. Probably won't succeed in any form of life. I mean, that's why a lot of people go into this because they're not the type of person who could succeed setting up a business or become academic. So the only thing left is just to be angry and stomp about, you know, stomp about and act in this thuggish way um i mean it's why in the 1940s what did we see we saw the socialists there set up the nazi party because that's you know it doesn't change these people aren't any different whatever they call themselves it's they're horrible really disgusting aren't they folks you know I, I, i'm appalled by them i and you can scare me all you want because that's how they act they they the, the actions are, you see, when, when you have to force people to believe your ways by calling them scab or even putting a brick through the window or whatever, you don't have an argument, you failed. You're not on the right side. People people who can argue without, you know, it, people who can encourage people to be on their sides without this sluggish behaviour, usually the ones that are winners. Now... Keep going, folks. Keep going, you trade unions. Call people scabs over and over. Because I tell you something, it doesn't affect me. Because I'm not going to be falling for your terror tactics. And that's all they are, terror tactics. If one person wants to go into work because you've gone on strike, I stand by that person. I stand by everybody. Because, you know, that's their right. It's not your right to scare them, threaten them, threaten their families. You know, that's not, you're not on the right side. You're a bad person. And by the way, if you actually look, um, you know, even even the years ago, in this, what, 60s, 70s, if you look at a lot of comedies, we're taking the mick out of trade unions. There was at least two or three films. Because even even the film firms, who are usually left-wing, were sick to death of these strike actions. They knew it was nonsense. 
and yet they're still acting like this. You'd have thought they'd have learnt from the 70s, but they're too thick, aren't they, folks? They're not bright enough to realise this isn't popular. People are cheesed off. I, I was looking at the uh, what the Rail Union's website yesterday, and everyone were condemning them. Everybody. I didn't see. There might have been some saying, um, supporting them. But, I mean, the reality is the only people who ever seem to support union strikes these days are left-wing, middle-class. You know, if you're middle-class, yeah, oh, it makes you look good saying, I'm, I'm middle-class, I'm voting. Yeah, that's it. You're not representative of the country. You know, oh, God, you just look at this guy's face on the video. What a horrible per I can't believe he called a, a scab. You, you think these people do this privately, you wouldn't think they'd do it, like, have it regarded. you got to be really thick to call a woman, you know, names. I mean, is that how they see themselves? I mean, right now, right now, you'd imagine every socialist would be up in arms condemning this guy, um, saying, how dare you speak to a woman like that? That's just sexist and all this. Silence. I guarantee there's be silence. I bet there's next to no socialist will be daring to raise their door, or, or they'll probably even support him, because, you know, they're two-faced. And that's the reality. I mean, it's like, um, you know, the same people say they're pro-women, and then look the other way when white women, get, children were getting raped. They're the same people. Two-faced. It's just all, it's show rather than reality. You know, they'll just say anything to look good on social media. But, yeah... This guy's exposed what, you know, 2022, this is what we face. This is what the unions are. I'm glad he's done it. In many ways, I'm glad because he's exposed, him, he's exposed that nothing's changed. You know, when I sit here and say, Uni, you know, all these people are nasty, you know, and someone says, oh, that was in the 70s. Thank you. Proves my point. You know, you can, you can bully me all you like. So I ain't, I'm not going to go along with nasty people like this. Nah, I suspect most people don't. I suspect most people are put off by this. But, you know, if you want to make sure Labour never get voted in again, carry on. You know, just keep repeating this. This is what you face. You know, when, when the next election comes, I'll be pointing this out to people. If you want to vote Labour, you're voting for the nasty party by the looks of it. Well, at least socialism. If you vote for a socialist party, uh, who back unions. I mean, don't forget, Labour do back these union strikes. So, you know, it, it's, um, let's see if they condemn them. Absolutely outrageous. How dare somebody say that to another human? How dare they? I mean, do they think this is the USSR? And having people sent to the gulag? who don't comply with the state rules. I mean, that's what they'll want. Oh, my goodness, scare it. I mean, you know, the biggest threat I think it faces England is the left. They're scared the hell out of me. They really do. I mean, they're terrifying people. You know, I don't find them very nice at all. From nurses who are wanting you not to be resuscitated if you don't vote their way, which, you know, I mean, it's just... This is how they're trying to win you over, by... Threatening you and scaring you constantly, calling your names. Good luck on that. Good luck on that, folks, because I guarantee it doesn't work with me. Maybe it does work with others. Good luck. Bye.